Hey, everybody, I'm having lots of technical difficulties tonight. Uh, I was all worried about the kids giving me grief, and it's been uh, YouTube giving me grief, so this stream may not go so well. I had it all set up with, like, good camera and lighting and everything upstairs, and uh, my husband's not home yet, so instead of having gin, I'm having, like, cold coffee and babies are hanging out with me tonight. But I had some cool stuff to show you, so now that YouTube has decided to work, I'm downstairs in a bad setup, so let me... See if I can get the phone somewhere good. Hold on. <laughs> we'll prop it up here on the computer, perhaps. And... Okay, well, real quick, we may just have to do a part two of this video since the uh, world is not cooperating with me today. This is my drop spindle, and it's hand-painted and really pretty. I got It was the first thing I ever spun on, and I got it from an Etsy shop. There um, are many good places to get drop spindles, but uh, this one's just really basic. It's called a top whirl, meaning the whirl is on the top. Some of them have, like, they basically look like that, <laughs> where the whirl's on the bottom. But this one's a top whirl, and as uh, you may have seen an earlier video I put up from, uh, it, we had an awesome speaker at our local guild meeting who, she was so cool. Like, she came in and she is kind of accidentally became the, like, I don't know, world expert on ancient Roman distaffs. And I heard she had, like, some actual old ones, but I was, like, not prepared for the cool collection she had. Like, she had about eight, like, legitimate, like, 13,000 years old, <laughs> like, uh, ancient Roman distaffs. And they were so cool. And she showed us, uh, but she'd made or had someone make for her these replicas that she could do spinning demos on. And, uh, this one is we I of course got some of the replicas. This one it would have the original is glass, so it was kind of like a green glass. This is like a white nylon that has a little bird on the top, but it's exactly like exactly what the uh, ancient one was. And then it's this one was like super high tech. It had like a thing to kind of rest your thumb on, and uh, then the bird on the top, and then this little one. Oh, I just dropped it. Good thing mine's nylon, was uh, wood, and this one has two birds on top, and a ring on the bottom. And apparently they were yeah, they were given a lot as wedding uh, tokens, kind of, she said, like engagement rings often, which uh, was cool, because you would have kind of, I think there were different ways to use it, but you would put the ring a lot of times on your finger, so it was kind of like a wedding present slash ring that you got to wear all the time and that was useful. So that is according to her, and she seemed to know everything about everything, so I'm going to take her word for it. So these were two different styles. You can see one is much smaller. This one would have gotten used with uh, something this size, probably like much finer fiber than what I'm going to use tonight, probably more like a silk or cottons, and I will play with it more later, but I pretty much just got it because, you know, I had to have it, so... This one I had drop spindled with in the past, and like I said, please excuse the horrible camera angle. With drop spindling, I have always found much harder than, and this is awesome, like this is really good, like super awesome drop spindling for me. Usually my, any yarn I make on a drop spindle is pretty scary. But the general idea is you are bringing it up around the spindle, and then you get it going clockwise, and then you get the draft going in the fiber. And then you do that for a while, and then you wrap it back around. And what she was saying, and I'd never thought about this, and why? Because I was always like, "What's the deal with the distaff?" Like I'm an anthropology person, so you know, art history. Like I've heard of distaffs for years, but I was always kind of like, "What's the deal with wrapping the fiber on the stick?" Like, is that just like a cool storage method? Like I didn't really get what the idea was. And if you are trying to do this, here, and you usually park it in your armpit, like with your hand which is I'm going to be teaching a workshop here at a local uh, like crafters and artisan gallery here next month. They're not going to have distaff, so they're going to have to use their hand, but it's uh, not nearly as easy. Like you kind of end up holding your arm <laughs> at this like weird angle, and uh, then you, oh, and then see that can also happen. So see, you're already seeing why the uh, distaff is handy, but you get it going clockwise, and like I so said, this is without the distaff. And then you just want to let the twist... <laughs> I'm back. My husband, who's late, I just called the middle, so I apologize for that. So, um, anyhow, back to this. This is going to be like the world's most uh, random gin and spin ever. See, it works better when there's gin. So you end up holding it this way and uh, bringing it down. 
and see so you just let the twist travel up and so see it's it's totally doable but her whole hypothesis was since the ancient Ro you know ancient peoples i mean this is like legitimately how all your clothes got made so i mean i'm not the world's smallest human so imagine making enough yarn this way <laughs> to clothe me <laughs> it would take forever so uh, she was understanding how important the distaffs were so what you would do with the distaff is you'd start here and uh wrap it, like I said, kind of loosely around this, and then, hold on, see, I need to wrap, and then you, when you get too much here, you wrap it up, and you want about an inch or so, get it here, and then you, and I, like I said, I'm not the uh, world's best drop spindler, but oh my goodness, see? Look how much easier that is. Just having it all, and then I need more twist. But you can literally just like drop spindle it, and it's so thin and nice, and just pull it down. And uh, yeah, that's, I mean, you can pretty much with the distaff, it gets my arm, see my shoulder's not all weird? I can hold it right here, and the drop spindle is like spinning, and it's almost on my floor. I mean, look at look at all the <laughs> look at all the yarn there. So it really for it's to me. I just was blown away with how such a simple uh, piece of equipment. And you know, we think about you know primitive tools and equipments, and you know, just being so primitive. But I mean, just it's so simple. The simple look, see that's why they call them drop spindles. The simple little piece of technology that uh, you know women would have used just every day all the time to the point that it was like your wedding china and it you gotta get a, get the twist going but i mean it, it's so simple but it makes such a huge difference in the quality and just enjoyment factor <laughs> which is important when you have to make so much yarn of uh of being able to do this so Anyhow, that is probably, like I said, obviously this uh, particular YouTube live is uh, a little jinxed. <laughs> so I hope that this is all turned out, and I'm sorry that the phone rang right in the middle of that. But um, anyhow, we will try this again next week, and as soon as my husband gets here, we may definitely be having some chance. <laughs> the kids are still awake, so I need to go upstairs and uh, make sure that the upstairs part of my house is still in one piece. And uh, so yeah, no... Yay for, uh, so that's what we were spinning this week, were the, using ancient Roman distaff replicas and, uh, my drop spindle. And I actually do have some yarn I need to go spin for somebody, uh, tonight, so off to go do that. It'll be merino thick and thin. So, bye everybody, have a good night.